Hi Jason from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com. This could be one of my shortest videos you've ever seen because it's about 12 degrees out in Michigan today, February 1st. Been raining all week and now it's been snowing the last two days. I'm out in Diamonddale, Michigan, suburb of Lansing, expecting a 1980 Chevrolet Corvette. Represented to be a 75,000 mile car. I do apologize if snow gets on the screen as we're doing this. It's probably gonna happen. The car's got completely original exhaust, including the original catalytic converter all the way back to where they split. Got new uh, performance mufflers under there. You can hear a slight exhaust leak where it's clamped in on probably the right hand side, nothing too detracting. Car's got very nice reflective quality. I didn't detect really any overspray to speak of. A couple touch ups noted here, a little crack there. You know, typical Corvette stuff. A couple nicks there where it meets the body. Body's actually visually in very nice shape. Small little hairline stress there and a little one inch crack there. I do apologize for the snow coming down. I have no idea how this video is going to look when we're done. Very good, solid, original. OEM underbody, OEM suspension front and rear. I hope the heat works. Bone stock interior, no real heavy seat bolster wear, a little bit of pulling on those seat seams and one little tear right there. Some paints chipped off on these seat frames but original 1980 day coated seat belts, they retract as they should. Carpet kit's got a little sun fade but nothing drastic. Door panels are in wonderful shape. Original trim tag is present. Code 83L paint, 722 red leather interior. Car showing 75,000 miles. Power locks are working. Power windows are working. Stereo's working. Heater and slides are all working freely. All the gauges are working except for the clock. Had a cold start oil pressure of about 35, 38 pounds, just short of 40, and it's still holding up there pretty good. We just fired it up and backed it out of the garage. We're not going to drive it today for obvious reasons. A couple flaws to point out. The clip to hold this lock button in is probably broken from the back side needs to be replaced. Power windows go up and down as they should. The passenger one goes a little slower than the driver's one. That one races up. Wipers work. Got a small wiper rub mark right here on the windshield, but that's all original uh, soft ray glass with LZ date codes present all the way around. Uh, car light marking on the front windshield. Pretty sure that's an original unit because it's got the AS1 marking and that's lateral with the sun stripe, so that appears appropriate. The only broken piece of trim really in the interior is the crack right here in this uh, T-top cover. The T-tops, by the way, are mirrored and they're in nice shape. Little Mary Jane. Uh, the rear electric uh, window defroster works. Uh, car seems to rev up pretty nice. Maybe we'll take her for a quick circle here in the parking lot just so that uh, we can witness it moving. It's got good acceleration, doesn't seem to have much uh, lag to speak of. Brake calipers appear to have been rebuilt. And uh, And they look like they're in good shape. Underneath the body, I really don't see where the car has had any major collision work. No uh, repair to floor tubs. The underbody looks uh, real nice. The horn, the horn works, but it's uh, disconnected up on the uh, right side. One of the horns is disconnected anyway. So that's gonna need to be replaced. But overall, I would call this a really good survivor quality 1980 Corvette. Headlights are operable. Vins present as it should be, trim tag present. Oh, we got a headlight bulb out there. I'll check the brights later. Parking lights do appear to be operating. The car has had a repaint, in my opinion, although there's really no obvious detectable overspray present. Um, certainly not on the exterior of the body. I saw a little bit up in the back wheel uh, well when I had the car up on a hoist earlier. Little touch up right there. 
few small marks on the car, but overall a pleasant, a pleasant car for a 1980 Corvette. Factory red red car. Wheels are in nice shape. No major curb scuff happening, just a little general, general age. But a good solid underbody. Kneeling in the snow, that's enough of that. 800 301 3886 Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise out doing pre purchase inspections on cars all over the country. 310 guys doing this for us. If you need service like this, it came with a full written report, 250 photos, hoisted inspection. We can jack them up on site if we have to. We can usually test drive them, but not in conditions like this. You can't blame the seller for not letting us drive this car today. Let us know if we can do an inspection for you sometime. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other cool classic car test drive videos. Be sure to leave some feedback, some comments. Thanks again. Carpet kit's got a little sun fade, but nothing drastic. Door panels are in wonderful shape. Original trim tag is present. Code 83L paint, 722 red leather interior. Car's showing 75,000 miles. Power locks are working. Power windows are working. Stereo's working. Heater and slides are all working freely. All the gauges are working except for the clock. Had a cold start oil pressure of about 35. 38 pounds just short of 40 and it's still holding up there pretty good we just fired it up and backed it out of the garage we're not going to drive it today for obvious reasons a couple flaws to point out the clip to hold this lock button in is probably broken from the back side needs to be replaced power windows go it's got good acceleration doesn't seem to have much uh, lag to speak of brake calipers appear to have been rebuilt and uh And they look like they're in good shape underneath the body i really don't see where the car has had any major collision work no uh, repair to floor tubs the underbody looks uh real nice the horn the horn works but it's uh, disconnected up on the uh right side one of the horns is disconnected anyway so that's going to need to be replaced but overall i would call this a really good survivor quality 1980 corvette Headlights are operable, up and down as they should. The passenger one goes a little slower than the driver's one. That one races up. Wipers work. Got a small wiper rub mark right here on the windshield, but that's all original uh, soft ray glass with LZ date codes present all the way around. Uh, car light marking on the front windshield. Pretty sure that's an original unit because it's got the AS1 marking and that's lateral with the sun stripe, so. That appears appropriate. The only broken piece of trim really in the interior is the crack right here in this uh, T-top cover. The T-tops, by the way, are mirrored and they're in nice shape. Little Mary Jane. Uh, the rear electric uh, window defroster works. Uh, car seems to rev up pretty nice. Maybe we'll take her for a quick circle here in the parking lot just so that uh, we can witness it moving. Not really any overspray to speak of couple touch-ups noted here a little crack there you know typical Corvette stuff a couple nicks there where it meets the body body's actually visually in very nice shape small little hairline stress there and a little one inch crack there I do apologize for the snow coming down I have no idea how this video is going to look when we're done very good solid original OEM underbody OEM suspension front and rear I hope the heat works. Bone stock interior, no real heavy seat bolster wear, a little bit of pulling on those seat seams and one little tear right there. Some paints chipped off on these seat frames but original 1980 date coated seat belts, they retract as they should. Hi Jason from Auto Appraise, autoappraise.com. This could be one of my shortest videos you've ever seen because it's about 12 degrees out in Michigan today, February 1st. It's been raining all week and now it's been snowing the last two days. I'm out in 
Diamond Dale, Michigan, suburb of Lansing. Expecting a 1980 Chevrolet Corvette. Represented to be a 75,000 mile car. I do apologize if snow gets on the screen as we're doing this. It's probably going to happen. The car's got completely original exhaust, including the original catalytic converter all the way back to where they split. Got new uh, performance mufflers under there. You hear a slight exhaust leak where it's clamped in on probably the right hand side. Nothing too detracting. Car's got very nice reflective quality. I didn't detect.